Good afternoon or good evening fellow Android fans. This is Sterickson or Steven from the XDA community. Um, I am going to go ahead and show you today how to do some um, advanced edits on the new lock screen that me and JDWME designed and created. Um, these changes that I'm going to show you today, well, I'm only going to show you one change today. The change that I am going to show you is a change that ManUp456 had asked me about earlier and I wanted to go ahead and get it out there so that him and other people would know how to do this. Um, what we're going to do is to change the font colors on the lock screen to whatever font and transparency level if you'd like um, as you would like first thing that you need to do is go ahead and take a look at the raw uncompiled keyguard screen lock.xml. You can find this at my github at github.com slash sterickson and follow the path that you see right here framework base core res res layout and then the keyguard screen lock.xml. You're going to be using this as a reference to see what you're changing. When Android compiles the file, it compiles it in the same order that it's created in, meaning the color values are going to come in order as they appear on here. If we take a look, the first color value that we can find is going to be black. In fact, all of them are going to be black. I'm sorry. Said so that was black, that's going to be white. Never was good with value and color values. Anyways, it's going to be white. We're going to be changing that white color value to black today. This specific color value controls the time. You can see right here it says ID forward slash time. So, in order to do that, you are going to need two more things. One, you're going to need a hex editor. Two, you're going to need the compiled XML file. The compiled XML file you can get from any one of the framework-res.abks that I have released um, that have my lock screen uh, files in there. Um, you're going to get it in base core. Well, I'm sorry, that's in the source. You're going to get it. If you open up framework-res.apk, you're going to go into res, and you're going to go into layout, and then you're going to go to keyguard screen lock.xml. The hex editor that I will recommend to you is going to be hxd. It is the one that I use, and is the one that I will be showing you how to use in this video. Click the first link if you type HXD into Google and it will bring you to the HXD web page. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will have a download page. You can choose that and then choose your download. Now me, myself, I have already downloaded it. I've had it for quite a while and I already have it up. This is what the keyguard screen lock.xml is going to look like. Now, when Android compiles the source, it translates the XML files into binary files. It is a strange binary format, not like a normal binary format, which is why we can't easily translate it back and then retranslate it. So what we are going to do is hex edit it and change the values for the font colors. First thing you need to know is that before any red, green, and blue, well al actually alpha, red, green, and blue font color, you're, it's going to be preceded by the numbers 08000001C. 
most likely you'll need to drop down the box right here because most likely yours is going to default to saying text string drop down and select hex values then I want you to type in what you see here after you have that typed in you can go ahead and hit enter it's going to go to the first font color value you see where it says FF 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 right there that is the same as this pretty easy huh now what we're going to change that to is to be the color black instead of white now whereas in this example the first two F's are going to be transparency and the next two F's are going to be red the next two F's are going to be green and the last two F's are going to be blue when Android compiles it it gets turned around backwards so the last one is going to be alpha next one it's going to be red, next one's going to be green, next first one's going to be blue. So it's going to be blue, green, red, alpha. So that being said, we want to change the first three to zero, 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 zero. We're going to leave the last one to FF, which is the hex value for 255, which is completely solid if for some reason you want to make the text disappear make it invisible for some reason then you would change this last FF to some value of your liking to get the transparency level of your liking I wouldn't recommend it I don't see a point in it but hey you're you're the theme devs you can do what you want <laughs> alright so now we have gone ahead and changed that and that is going to control the time now if we want to go ahead and control change the control I said control change the font color for the date we're gonna see here the second color value is going to do that so let's go back to HXD hit control F let's search for the same thing this makes it pretty easy simple since I have made all the colors the same hit that brings right brings you right up to the next one and you're going to go ahead do the same to these last four you're going to change it to zero 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 leaving the last F's alone because that controls the transparency levels after that it's pretty much self-explanatory what I've showed you here you just go on down the line find the next color value which in this case would be the alarm text it looks like you know whenever you have an alarm set and you would change that you'd find the value again which would be right there and you change it to whatever color you would like after that you're done you decide that you don't want to do anything more go to file hit save save it as the same and put it back into framework dash res dot apk and push it back to your phone you'll need to make sure you do this in recovery mode do not push this to the phone when your phone is on you will lose space in your system partition make sure you also remount your system partition or in your when you're in recovery mode or else you won't see any changes and you'll just think that I'm just full of crap and don't know what I'm talking about alright and after that you should reboot the phone and you should see your changes right away there isn't much more to it and if y'all have any more questions or concerns you know you can always give me a uh, send me an email get with me on gtalk I'll be glad to help any of y'all out um, hopefully this has answered quite a bit of your questions and hopefully later on I'll have the time or the nerve <laughs> to do another video and show you how to change things such as the padding that I put on the top and bottom dock which will allow for 
some of you uh, theme devs to put more of a border on the docs for the time and the notification icons. Well, they're not really notification icons, they're buttons. Alright, well, I do hope y'all enjoyed the short tutorial, and I appreciate your comments, your questions, and your support. And we'll see y'all around the forum.